As I walk through the beautiful gardens of Villa Taverna, the residence of all U.S. ambassadors in Rome since the early 30s, I can't stop thinking about how quickly this first year as U.S. ambassador to Italy has passed. And then I realize how many wonderful people I've met, the president, ministers, heads of parties, military officers, and the mayors of all those cities I visited everywhere in Italy. And then leaders of so many key businesses in meetings, roundtable conferences. Just a few months ago, I hosted a conference here at Villa Taverna to discuss our foreign policy. We exchanged views on the shared challenges that our countries face in these very challenging times. But I not only met with the high-level officials here in these gardens, I had the pleasure to host our 4th of July party where, believe it or not, we had more than 2,500 Italian guests showing our enduring bonds of friendship with this great country and how much I appreciate all the work we do together day in, day out, in a number of fields, everything from defense, cooperation, to business relations. Here at the embassy in Via Veneto, the street where the Dolce Vita was once king, I have the privilege to lead a team of great professionals, both Americans and Italians, who work with me to ensure the relationship between our two countries remains strong and that we continue to work together on a variety of issues, both domestic and international. Italy is a key NATO ally and is on the front line of crisis in North Africa and in so many other areas of the world. Our economies also are so strongly linked together that there is a significant number of major U.S. companies operating here in Italy. Just recently, I was in Milan at the opening of the first Starbucks roastery in Italy, where I saw the best of our cultures come together. It was fantastic. We also host select USA events all over Italy to introduce Italian companies to the great opportunities in the U.S. markets. A few months ago, I had the great opportunity to join President Trump in welcoming Italian Prime Minister Conte to the White House. In the upcoming year, I look forward as we work together to develop the U.S.-Italy strategic dialogue on Mediterranean security that was announced at that important meeting. But one of the things I enjoyed most during my first year as ambassador was meeting with so many wonderful Italians. I found them to be warm, valuing friendship and family ties. They've welcomed my wife Judy and me into their lives. I am so grateful. Beside my daily meeting schedule, I try to communicate more and more through our social media channels, our embassy, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So please follow us there. I'm even starting to understand a little Italian, even though I don't speak quite like an Italian yet. So grazie di tutto for the first year and arrivederci a presto.